Hi Beverly, happy 75th birthday from gorgeous, magnificent, beautiful Cape Cod. It's a fabulous day here today. I wish you and Maury were here sitting on the beach with me. I wanted to tell you something that I liked most about you. There are a million things, but Sherry has limited me to one. So the one thing I love about Beverly Weinstein is the generosity of your heart. Your heart is as big as the whole wide world. You are there for everybody. So I want you to have a wonderful birthday, and I want you to know that we all love you. So have a happy day. Love you. Irma. Hi, Bev. My birthday message to you is full of kudos and for what a kind-hearted and supportive friend you are. I might even say, Bev, that you are just perfect, except for one thing. Bev, you are really a bad winner. On our vacations, I have played gin rummy with you for hours and hours, and every time you win, you would burst into singing Beethoven's Ode to Joy, and it would go like, hallelujah, <laughs> hallelujah. Well, I guess I can take it, because maybe you really are a winner. And I want you to know that I wish you a very happy birthday, and I love you. Beverly, for about 40 years, she's probably one of the most honest people I know. She's a thoughtful, wonderful neighbor. She's there when you need her, and I couldn't ask for a better neighbor. lived with her for since, let's see, I think it's 1974, and we've had all these wonderful years together that she's put up with me, <laughs> which is a lot for anybody to try to do because how can anyone put up with a person like me? So because she has put up with me, I really love her very deeply and truly. May we have many, many years together again. Thank you. Hi mom, happy birthday. Um, we're supposed to say one thing that we think is really great about you, but I found it was impossible to come up with just one thing. So just keep being you and all that you do. Have a great happy birthday and uh, thank you for everything. Love you. she always plays with me. Happy birthday, Grammy. Why do I love Beverly? She's such a good person, but I don't have time for all that, so let's just, let's just skip to the chase. I love Beverly because she was, she had the good grace to be born first. That makes her always the older sister. I love Beverly because she's crazy clean. She's an obsessive compulsive, and she still flicks her chickens when she makes my mother's frigazee. All of this makes me look a little bit more normal. So why do I love Beverly? Did I tell you? Because she's such a good person. There are many reasons why I love Beverly. First of all, I've become an expert in obsessive compulsive disorder by the study of my sister-in-law. Secondly, I love to look at my wife when she is silent. That never happens until Beverly comes along. She's the only one that can out talk her. I love you, Bev. Your heart goes bitter better. I know just what's the matter. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, Bev. Okay. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. What's up with Bev? Oh, she makes me laugh. She just got back from Chicago. <laughs> and well, she had to go to Wegmans, and then she had to go do her laundry, and then she had to do her gardening, and then she went to the Jewish home to see Nettie. Oh, by the way, when are we uh, going to go on the trip to the Dominican Republic with them again? Well, you know, we're going to be going to Israel in May, so I wonder what outfit she's going to bring, because everything she wears, she has a story. And every story that she has, she has to tell me 
how old these things are and where she got them from. I wonder if they're going to visit their uh, Ethiopian kids when they're in Israel. Well, she makes me laugh. She's so upbeat and positive, and she's always looking for the good in people. She's such a good friend. Bev and Mori are so generous. It's either temple, Jewish home, federation, or anything that's asked of them. You know, it's hard to know, know where, Bev where Bev is, is but one Anything thing we, we know, know, she's, she's always, always in, in our hearts, hearts and we, we love her. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Bev! What I love about Bev is her bubbly personality and her willingness to always help when you need help. What I love about Bev is the rhythm section she provides at Friday night services. Happy birthday, Bev. Happy 75th. What I love most about Bev are her superior interviewing skills, which made me much better in the corporate world for <laughs> interviews. Here's the deal. When I met this beautiful woman, her sister, and our first night, I was uh, sleeping in the basement, and before I could even open my eye in the morning, she comes down and says, who are you? Where'd you come from? What do you do? And at that moment, I learned how to be uh, spontaneous and sharp in answering my interview skills. So, Beverly, thank you for all that. And what I do love, everything I love about my wonderful older, and when I say older, I am the younger baby sister, 75 years old. My goodness. You are the strength. You are the comedy, you are the little OCD, I must say, but we do have some props for you. As you can see, we are wrapping you in love in the afghan that you made us so lovingly. Uh, it took almost 60 years to my 60th, which by the way, um, was right after I believe mom and dad's honeymoon, uh, wedding night, that you were conceived. So we do have that in common because I was felt like, okay, Dad came home from the stories I hear, and uh, she conceived with me 15 years later and rocked your and Helene's world. Um, but anyway, you've rocked mine, and certainly 75 years, here's to you. We wrap you. Um, I must say also, I remember the training bra. Aww that you took me to bird eyes. As you can see, I'm filling it out a little bit better. A handful. And before sponges, they did not have Lysol. So, and one final thing, my sister. What goes around comes around, and I am bringing you a treat. But for now, I'll show you, because they'll go in your little feet. There are the slippers. Happy birthday! Love you! Love bye you, bye. love you! Happy 75th! Happy birthday, Aunt Beverly! What I love about Bev, that's easy. She's so thoughtful, very thoughtful, and most generous. A fact that has been proven over and over again. For example, she, after going to Crystal Beach, bought some extra corn felt Loganberry concentrate to bring back for me since she knew I love it so much. Yummy. Love you, Bev. Hey, Bev. We are really excited that you're turning 75 because no one would ever even believe it. We are asked to find one thing we love about you, and that is not an easy feat at all. And when I got to thinking, I realized I had learned about it 60 years ago when we were both sorority sisters. I was failing geometry, and you offered to help. Every day after school, I met with you and you tutored me, and I didn't have to go to summer school. Yay! But you've done that all your life, Beverly. We can really count on you. I can't thank you enough for everything. Happy birthday. Have a wonderful, wonderful time. There are so many reasons that I love Beverly that choosing one is very difficult. I love Bev as a wonderful role model of how to live life optimistically, positively, and graciously with a warm, welcoming smile and for friends and strangers alike. Bev is never too busy to help a friend in any way needed. Bev may be diminutive in size, but she has enormous energy 
and wonderful organizational skills. She's very efficient at managing her time and creatively accomplishes everything that's asked of her. Thank you, Bev, for more than 50 years of friendship and happy birthday. Happy birthday, Beverly. It's such a wonderful time like this, celebrating a milestone birthday. I hope you are enjoying the day and wish you a wonderful year. At this time, I thought it would be nice to thank you for your wonderful deep friendship. You've always made me feel welcome, greeting me with your beautiful smile and welcoming us to your home for a delicious meal or at, or at your car for trips to Canada for Shaw or the uh, Stratford Festival. I'm looking forward to many more such trips with Merle, Maury, and you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Bev. Bev. You are our newest friends. I've known you for many years through Lois, my dear, dear friend. And I've heard only good things about you, how very efficient you were, how you cooked and um, froze things in advance so that you could be right on top of everything that needed to be done. We, in, we have enjoyed going out to dinner with you, riding in your beautiful new car, and everything that, and especially playing Mahjong. So again, happy birthday. Saul, do you have anything to add? I don't play Mahjong, but I very much enjoyed your picnics and I've enjoyed going out to dinner with you. And I really can't believe that you've hit this milestone birthday, but happy birthday, you're looking great. Keep it up. Hi Bev, happy birthday. The thing I love best about Beverly is her her and our enduring and endearing friendship. We have been friends for more than 65 years and in all that time I don't think we ever had uh, a disagreement or an argument. Beverly has been a wonderful friend through good times and not so good times. She was always there for me if I had surgery. She was there with her wonderful Swedish meatballs. Uh, when we first moved back to Rochester, she invited us over to meet her Rochester friends that had become our lifelong friends. And um, those are the things I really appreciate about you, Beverly, and your um, positive attitude through everything. And I just want to say once again, happy special birthday. Happy birthday. We love you. Many happy returns. We've researched the definitions of no and yes. No is a negative use to express dissent, denial, or refusal. Yes is an adverb to express affirmation, to give an affirmative reply. Or, oh, that, that sounds, sounds like, like Bad Weinstein. Weinstein. At Temple, Shabbat services, she hands out prayer books. On High Holy Day, she acts as a greeter. She's a top seller of raffle tickets at the Temple RPO concerts. Do you know that she sings in the Temple Choir? She also distributes uh, flowers uh, to shut-ins after Shabbat services. There are so many off-the-radar mitzvahs that we don't know about either. At the Jewish home, I know that she visits with Nettie. She does, and she organizes her dresser, and she fills in clothing when it's needed. I know that she's involved with special events at the Jewish home. And sponsoring Ethiopian children in Israel. Yeah, I know that, yeah. The list goes on and on. Bottom line, Bev is a yes person. She's not a no person, who always gives of herself to friends and strangers. We're grateful to call her our friend. Happy birthday, Bev. I've had the pleasure of knowing Bev since we first moved to Rochester some 53 years ago. Bev was one of the first people I ever met and immediately she welcomed me into her group of friends. And I feel so fortunate that we've shared such incredible friendship all these many years. Bev has been there for me whenever I have needed her and she is a true friend. 
We have shared milestones. We've had the fortune of raising our children together, first in Penfield and carpooling, and then how lucky could I be to move across from Maury Weinstein. And then his new bride comes, my friend Beth, and we raise our kids together. And then we share weddings and our grandchildren. I teach the group to play Mahjong. And even though I'm now away half a year from Rochester, the friendship has not lessened. Bev is probably the most organized, thinking ahead person I know. She makes me look like, I, they might say I'm the Energizer Bunny, but I'm, I'm slow motion compared to Bev. She's also kind and generous and puts everybody's needs before her own. I wish you many, many more healthy, happy birthdays. We're three weeks apart. I'm really your older friend, but I always look up to you. What do you love about Aunt Beverly? What's not to love? Beverly, are you kidding me? I just put my glass down. Happy 75 years. No one cleans like you do, Beth. All the best. What we love best about Granny, her hug. And Happy birthday, Grammy! After all of these years, I am so happy I can finally read from Scott's Book of Grievances, Mom. I've kept track with my great memory of all the years and of all the grievances I have. Starting when I was a baby and back then diapers had those metal safety pins and there was many times you poked me and I didn't forget that. I can also talk about the time when Sherry and Deborah got to go to Florida and I felt sick and I threw up and I was okay after that, but you made me stay home while they went on vacation to Florida. I can remember the way you dressed me up for Purim that even dad to this day still laughs about. The humiliation of even when you got married, how I had to wear a bow tie and pink shorts or peach shorts. I can remember the times when Renee had birthday parties and I wasn't invited because you thought Renee and I were too friendly. Daddy, this is supposed to be Stuff you love about Grammy, not this like. It's supposed to be about stuff I love about Grammy? Yeah! <laughs> oh, uh, uh, never mind. <laughs> um, but let me say, Mom, <laughs> what I love about you is that through thick and thin, through good times and bad times, when I wanted you there and when I didn't want you there, I knew that you were always there for me. I could always count on you. You were the glue that kept our family together, and that was not an easy task. I thank you for bringing Dad into my life, that included Shelly and Renee, and having the most wonderful family. You're the best mom that any son could ever ask for. I love you very much, and I want to wish you a very happy birthday. Love you. I love Bev because Bev loved Scott even though he was mean to her for many years. Seriously, I love Bev because she loves all of us unconditionally. Have a wonderful, happy birthday. We love you. The beautiful best friend, the ever loving, the vivacious, that spells Bev. We love, love you. you. Happy 75th birthday. What I love about Granny is that whenever she comes in, Grammy is that whenever she finds something messy, she won't rest until it's clean. Here's what I love about my mother-in-law. She's never late, always on time, 100% dependable. My Tupperware looks better than the neighbors, which means there's a lot of jealousy in the neighborhood, but it's okay. My mother-in-law takes care of us. She knows what family is, and she gave me a beautiful wife. And I'm very grateful. She's a wonderful, wonderful lady. Thank you. Hi, Bev. Happy birthday. This is such an exciting time. I'm supposed to talk about what I love about you and admire about you. And there are so many things I wrote them down. One of them is what, first and foremost, what a fabulous grandparent you are. You love every one of your grandchildren the same. You don't play favorites. You play with them. And you make their life so much better. You are so organized. You probably even have your Passover dinner already in the oven. Not the oven, probably the freezer. Anyway, you're helpful, you're kind, 
Both Yaish and I love you and happy birthday. One thing I like about grooming, take one. You always give to the people who are less fortunate and I think that's a really good quality you have and it's really nice. Happy 75th. What we love about Aunt Beverly is how family oriented you are. Thank you so much for welcoming, welcoming me into the family. We always love hearing from you on holidays, birthdays, and other special occasions. I agree with what she said. We all love you. Kids? Why not do not I wanted to wish Beverly a very happy 75th birthday for Laundry and I, and for many more years of good health and happiness. And then she did a mitzvah. She took Maury and she converted him into a mensch. She made something out of him that nobody else would ever have believed happened. Beverly, you are the most amazing woman. We love you. Have a happy, happy birthday, Beverly. We love you. Yeah. Right now. Your mother is a very unusual person. She remembers everything forgets nothing and does everything well, comes out right which I still don't understand <laughs> which is incredible you can have you're, Mark, you're yeah. blessed okay, with a we'll woman like that Beverly how nice Shelly's telling me it's your birthday in November this November and I'm November too so I'm okay. November 30th she's yeah. first and you're November 1st so how nice that maybe we can get back together again because every time I'm with the family I always have a great time and especially when I get to see Shelly and she gives me the, uh, the, uh, the uh, update on all different family events and birthdays so okay happy Beverly it's great let's do money more more. Oh my God, Beverly, I don't know how you do this every year. It's a wonderful picnic and thank you so much for doing it and you look beautiful every year. <laughs> Beverly, God bless you, honey. We love you and thank you for having us every year. You're special and thank you for taking care of my one of my favorite cousins, which I have a lot here today, <laughs> my true. cousin Macy. Yeah. Your Love dad. <laughs> happy birthday, be Beverly. Here. Everybody always says that. Yeah, you know, you're so happy to know, however many years ago, when you came to our house for a NASA meeting, I you told my father. me that I am going to be your, wife your new cousin. Your cousin. <laughs> I am Mary and Lori Weinstein, and we are your wife. Beverly and Maury, thank you very much for having us every year. We appreciate it. It's good seeing everybody. And happy birthday in November. What's the date? The first. Oh, the first. And she's glad she brought her husband. <laughs> and Manny and I appreciate coming here. Thank you. Happy birthday, Beverly. We enjoy your picnics every year. They're great fun, and you're such a good sport to have, everybody. Okay. Have a wonderful birthday. Beverly, you're a great person. You really are. You've done a great job with Maury. Finally calmed him down. But I hope you have a great birthday and many more. Your picnics are exciting, and I wish I had your energy. Love, Barry. It's a pleasure to be here. In fact, it's a pleasure to be anywhere. Be here anywhere. I hope I'm, I'm 92 going on 93. Who asked me? And you wish her happy birthday. And I enjoy whatever cousins I have left. I love Grammy because she's very kind to others. Happy birthday, 75 years. Congratulations. I love Grammy because she always lets me beat her gym. Happy 75, Grammy. What I love about my mother, Beverly Ann Weinstein, let's begin the list. One, her delicious chicken soup. Two, her applesauce. Might be frozen, but always delicious. How my mom has the softest skin and always taught us the importance of taking care of our skin. Can't forget how important a sponge is. Notice how mine would never meet the Beverly standard. What I love about my mom is her commitment to Judaism and teaching us about spirituality and the larger world. The importance of eating our vegetables. Granted, they might be frozen as well, but I did learn the importance of greens. The bottom line is, Mom, you are the rock in our family. You've always taught me to do my best, to be my best, and I strive to be a mom as good as you. 
I love you and happy birthday. You rock. The one thing I love about Grammy is how she takes care of everyone and always makes sure everyone has what they need before she gets what she needs for herself and she has a huge heart. And I love you, Grammy. Happy birthday. Congratulations on your birthday, Beverly. You're still a bundle of energy, always so positive. Hi, Grandma Bev. Happy birthday. I hope it's a special one. You always do so much for people and you're always so kind and generous and I appreciate it so much. Um, right now I'm just in the bathroom of my dorm, just kind of getting away from everyone so I could record it without my friends screaming in the background. Um, just finished most of my midterm, so um, I have a nice day off, but I didn't go to bed last night, I was studying all night. So, um, college is tough, but um, I hope you're doing well, and um, I hope you have a great birthday. You mean a lot to me, and yeah, take care, love you. Hey, I'm Bev, happy birthday. 75, that's huge. Uh, I just wanted to tell you some of the things that I love about you. Um, I love that you are a sweet, caring, and very generous woman. Um, I remember growing up, coming to the house, and you would always put me to work. Uh, mopping the halls like Cinderella, washing the cars. <laughs> um, but I always remember you with a sponge in your hand or never being able to sit still because there's always something to do and my mother got that treat from you. <laughs> so thank you. She's constantly with the steamer. So that that's because of you. Um, but I do love the holidays, spending it with you guys and the kids and Uncle Maury making matzo brai, just hanging on the couch, feeding the birds when I was younger. Um, so, so many great memories uh, involve you and Uncle Maury and all the kids. So I really cherish those moments and I cherish my wonderful Afghan that you made for me. So. I hope that you have a wonderful day full of special memories and uh, just know that you are truly, truly loved. So, I love you.